Welcome to our Support Vector Regression course. This is our machine learning project about Home Appliances Energy Consumption Prediction. Today, we are going to evaluate our model and select which model performs better. So before we continue, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification icon and select all, like this video, and share this with your friends. So let's get right into our job. So the goal of our evaluation is not for us to identify how effective our model on the training data, but for us to be able to identify how effective our model on the data it has never seen previously. This method of evaluation will help us identify how good our model can make predictions. So to start with, we first have to import some packages. And so we will have from, okay, so we have imported here some of the very important packages for our evaluation and selection. So first of all, we have time series split and time series split is very important because we are talking here of not just any other data, but we have in here the case of time series. And because it's time series, we cannot just randomly split our data into different parts. And this is actually the reason behind k-fold validation. But in this case, we have time series. It's because we would like to divide our data based on its sequence of happening. I believe you would want to ask me, so what's the purpose or the nature of time series split? So first of all, time series split divides our data into different segments. So the first segment becomes the training set to be tested on the second segment. And then the first and second segments would be the training set to be tested on the third segment. And this happens in the same situation for the next segment and so on and so forth. So here we have mean squared error, R2 square, or R2 score, which is actually R squared. And these are for the metrics to be used for measuring the effectiveness of our model. And then, of course, we do have the cross validation score for validation. And so this is good to go. And let's execute this one. So before we move on, there are actually a lot of functions that we have to define first so that we would be able to make the necessary measures of performances. So we will have first functions to evaluate the models. So remember this, that we have here two models to be evaluated. We do have the linear regression and we do have the support vector regression. So we will have def. So we're going to evaluate our model based on the test features. And so we could come up with our test labels. And of course, we will be having the errors, the map, the R score, and of course, the accuracy. So if you want to know more about these things, like the MAPI and the R-score, I have a lesson on that on machine learning algorithm essential. So I discussed all the things you need to know about the different metrics of performance of our regression models. So please watch and learn this lesson for you to be able to understand this part of our machine learning project. So this is good to go. And let's execute this. Okay, so after defining these different functions, we now have to evaluate our models, so evaluate. So as you can see, we are evaluating our linear model and support vector regression model. So this is good to go. And let's execute this. All right, now you could see in here the average error, the variance score, and the accuracy. So let's examine closely one by one. So for the linear model, our average error is 0.35 degrees. The variance score, the R squared is 13.47%. The accuracy is 91.86. So in comparison to support vector regression, we could see that as to accuracy, there is actually not much big difference between them because SVR is 92.41%. So the difference is just one point something. But if we are going to examine the variance score, then we could see that there is really a great difference because SVR is 27.37%. That means 
there is a big number of our data that is explained by the support vector regression in, in comparison to the linear regression. And this means that at this very point, our initial choice is support vector regression, but this is still subject to our evaluation using our time series split. So we are going to continue for more validation and evaluation of our model. So let's have, so we're going to label this one um, cross-validation. Cross-validation using time series split. So there. So for this cross-validation, we are using the negative mean absolute error and the R-squared to test the accuracy. So let's execute this one so we would be able to know. All right. So this may take for some few seconds and we will just wait. Okay, so we have here now the results for our linear model and the SVR model. So just like our discussion in the first evaluation, now in this validation, we have validated that our evaluation is really correct. So we could see here that as to accuracy, there is not much big difference. Actually, in this case, there is just point something difference. But then if we are going to look at the R squared, then we could see that the difference is almost half. Linear model has 0.26 and the SVR model has 0.48. Because the SVR model has a higher R squared, then it means to say that it really performs better than our linear model. So for us to really picture out the results of these models, so what we'll do is that we're going to plot the results. So let's first right here make some plots to visualize results. Okay, so we will have this one. So this one gives us the different values of prediction for the linear model and for the SVR model. And for both of them, we use the scatter plot so that we would be able to see if there is really consistency when it comes to the variance. And we would be able to also visualize which one has more variance. So let's execute this one. Okay. So now we have it. And this one is for the linear regression. And this one is for the support vector regression. As you could see, just like the number shown here, as to accuracy, there is not really a big difference between them. Examining the picture at first glance, we would be able to see that there is not really big difference between them. However, the case of support vector regression shows smaller variance in comparison to the linear regression. So the linear regression, the data are more spread in comparison to the SVR. And now we would like to see the true values of the prediction. So we will have the true value and prediction of each model. And again, we this is still a visualization of the results. So we're going to have, so we are going to use a line plot and both of them will be shown in one presentation. And for the linear model, for linear prediction, the color would be green and the SVR would be red. And of course, we do have these lines to represent both of them. So let's execute this so we could see which one really performs better. Okay, so we have here the legend. Of course, the target value is this one, which is with the in bold line. The linear prediction is in green and the SVR is in red. We can see that the linear prediction shows the tendency of overfitting while the support vector prediction shows a more generalized prediction. So between the overfitting model and a more generalized model, of course, we can say that SBR is better. So this one is just one way to show the performance of the models. And by here, we can also see which one can be chosen for our deployment later on in the project. So there is also another way to identify the performance. And with that, we're going to use this import Seaborn. And this is the package that 
we're going to use for visualizing the other option. So in this case, we're going to use a histogram and we will be able to see the distribution. And let's execute this one. This is really becoming more exciting. So let's have this run. Okay. The blue one is our linear prediction and the red one is our support factor regression. So between them, which one shows a more normal distribution? Support vector regression shows normal distribution and linear regression actually does not show a normal distribution. So remember this, that in our regression model, we always assume a Gaussian distribution. So because support vector regression shows a normal distribution, then we can say that this model gives us the better performance. And because it gives the better performance, of course, support vector regression is our choice of model for deployment for production. So first of all, we're going to save it. So let's save the file for deployment. And to save this file, we first have to import pickle. And then we open a file here where we would like to store our data. And then we dump the information in this file. So let's execute this one. Okay. So our model is now saved and ready for deployment. So in this part of our project, we evaluated our model and we selected which one to use for deployment. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.